Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to Sketch School of Art and Creativity. So today's video is going to be a very very important video because in today's video we are going to talk about the eligibility criteria which is required for you to do architecture. Now there's a lot of confusions. Some students have not scored 75% plus. Some students have not scored 50% plus. Some students have like less marks in mathematics. So they're asking that can I do architecture? Am I eligible for to do architecture if I have scored less than 50% in any of the one subjects in PCM? So lot of confusion is there guys and even if you have scored good marks this video is for you please watch this video till the end because it's a very serious issue and you know there are not a lot of students who give architecture entrance examinations every single year and because of these rules which are you know there uh, even less students are becoming eligible to do architecture so it's a very important thing and I think that we should uh, bring up the voice and come together to do something about it so it's for everybody it's time to help each other guys and this video is going to be on a very important issue so without much introduction let us get started with the video so guys you're seeing a change in the background because i'm not at my place i'm at my grandparents house so that is why this change in background is there but ignore that and let's come to our point so the first thing is the age limit see anyways there is no age limit for both nata and for jay but the main thing is that if you have given your board examinations before 2021 so this was for 2023 JE examination that if you had given your board examinations before 2021 that means in 2020 or 2019 or 2018 then you are not eligible to, to give JE examinations and you cannot do architecture through JE okay so that is the age criteria for JE and if you talk about for NATA examination then there is no age limit for NATA examination so whatever age you are that's completely fine the next eligibility in which everybody is having confusion is finally the marks which is the most important thing right so if you talk about the marks okay uh, before talking about that I forgot to mention one thing that if you have given NATA examination uh, the second attempt examination which was recently held so I hope that your examination went well. A short review about the examination which I have heard from the students is definitely that this time the paper was a little bit more easier than the first attempt. Uh, some questions from architectural terms, principles of design and even um, you know color theory etc were quite easy. The questions were repeated from mock tests as well which we had provided. The questions were a lot similar to what has been taught in the live classes so the paper was more better than the first attempt now it can be because of more preparation or more accurate preparation or it can be because of um, you know just the paper being easy but i will all only tell my final verdict when i will see the actual question paper that means that when the answer key will be out so i wish you all the very best for your results guys i hope that the second attempt was good and for the students who are planning to give the third attempt as well the students who are thinking that they should not appear for the third attempt kindly wait for the results of the second attempt as well because if your marks is quite similar from the first attempt so if your first attempt marks and second attempt marks is quite similar so it's safe suppose it's in first attempt is 100 and in second attempt is 101 so your aggregate is anyways going to be 100.5 right so because whatever marks you are having in your third attempt however less it is maybe it's 80 as well so your anyways your aggregate or, or your final marks will be 100.5 so it's just a difference of 0.5 so if your marks is very similar like only one two three marks ka difference here in first and second attempt then please prepare well and appear for the third attempt as well just for that shot and if there's a huge difference in marks like 100 and 140 then you should not take a chance and appear for third attempt so that's the case let the results come and then decide that if you want to appear for third attempt or not and i wish you all the very best for your results and let's continue with our video regarding the marks okay so for the marks part guys in your J examination uh, you know you all know that you get a percentile for J examination and through JOSA counseling you take admission through your J percentile only if you are unclear yet that how JOSA counseling in, is held or what are the ways to take admission through J then you can watch my admission procedure video for J examination and you will get a lot of clarity but a lot of students are asking regarding their boards marks that in order to take admission through your J percentile what should be your boards marks so your boards marks guys should be 
at least minimum 75 percent now what was happening is from the past three years because of covid this 75 percent rule was relaxed that means you should either you know just pass your board's examination or you should have 50 percent of marks in your board examinations so this rule was very relaxed from the past three years and when the nata brochure was released before the je first attempt this 75 percent rule was back so a lot of students protested that uh, from past three years you know this rule was not there so we did not know or whatever so there was a lot of protest and a lot of things were happening that a lot of students were not able to score 75 percent but they had really good score in your j so they had a good percentile right so there was a lot of confusion so email kara hoga logo ne parents ne call kara hoga so when they released their um, j second attempt brochure in that they made a small update the update was that in your respective board so it can be cbse board it can be maharashtra state board it can be any board examination right so in your respective board if you are in top 20 percentile okay so all the students who have given the board examination if your score is like in the top 20 percentile that means if you are ahead of 80 percent of the students who have appeared for that particular board then you are actually eligible to take admission uh, through JOSA counseling or in the II uh, triple uh, like in the NITs and the SPAs right and for BTEC yeah the IITs and all so for BIAC it's mostly SPAs and NIT so they actually took you know heard the students and they heard their problems and they took some steps to solve the problem so they did that so a lot of students in Maharashtra board has have actually scored like 60 percent or 70 percent and it's the case for everybody so maybe the paper was a little bit more tough or the schooling was not proper so a lot of students have actually scored quite low but maybe they are in the top 20 percent uh, who have scored good marks so they are eligible to do architecture now for like a uh, JE examination taking admission through JOSA counseling in SPAs and NIT so JE actually made this change but if it comes to NATA guys in NATA still you know the criterias are not relaxed for this year and again the like before COVID all the criterias which were there in the NATA examination is actually back so you have to get uh, minimum 50% aggregate marks in your PCM so physics chemistry math so individually if you have score less than 50 suppose in one subject mathematics you have a score less than 50 suppose it's 47 but in other two subjects your score is like 65 so aggregate PCM is more than 50 then you are eligible but if aggregate score is less than 50 then you are not eligible and even if you are total like percentage and board marks so including all the five subjects so if your total percentage is like uh, less than 50 then also you're not eligible so for PCM also it should be average 50 and all the five subjects including also it should be at least 50 minimum so actually apparently a lot of students you know have not scored more than 50 percent aggregate in PCM so there are a lot of students who have less than 50 aggregate marks in PCM and uh, they are requesting uh, me actually calling us and you know requesting us to tell us something that what to do and actually apparently guys the because this is a rule from COA so nothing can be done you know uh, if COA has stated that this is the rule you should have minimum 50% so you're not going to get any chance you cannot do architecture as of now so I'm making this video to request all of you to actually mail uh, COA so please write an email to uh, COA and uh, apparently I visited their website and I could not find a proper mail so I found a raise ticket wala section in which you can raise a ticket and enter your complaint so I request all of you to raise a ticket uh, and go through go on their website and just request them to kindly relax this rule at least for this year because only in first attempt 10,000 students appeared for the examination right so out of these 10,000 students uh, there are a lot of students who have not scored aggregate 50 marks in PCM so they're actually left out and already because the 
appeared students who have appeared for architecture is so low so the students who want to take admission in architecture will also be very very low so every year the number of students who are going to do architecture is actually reducing so it's not a good thing right at least um, so at least for this year guys they should relax the rule i guess because there are a lot of students who are very keen to do architecture who really want to do architecture from their bottom of the heart and maybe they will become really good architects because uh, architecture studies and school studies have literally no relation okay so uh, apart from like theory of structures which has a little bit of physics other subjects have no relation to what you studied in school so it's very different study so you can never say that uh, if an st any student has not scored more than 50% in pcm aggregate so he cannot become a good architect and also before like uh, uh, like few years back even commerce student could do architecture and they suddenly made it for only science students now they have this restriction that pcm maybe aapke 50% hone chahiye so it's a little bit more tough for many students so i would request all of you to please either call on the number uh, the coa number or either mail them or at least raise a ticket from their website so from where you can raise the ticket the link i will provide in the description box below so you can go over there Uh, in on that link and please raise a ticket and please uh, request them that they should relax the criteria at least for this year because see even je has relaxed the criteria so 75% tha par ab unhone top 20 percentile ke liye bhi kar diya hai so they have also thought something and they have also came to a solution for architecture students so even like uh, cua should consider this because uh, har saal thode thode bacche kam hote ja rahe hain aise to koi architecture karega hi nahi ek point pe and there will be a lot of shortage of architects in this country so it's actually a very big issue guys and please help your friends and uh, all the students who have scored less than 50 and who have not uh, who are not falling into the eligibility criteria uh, only if there is a lot of emails lot of calls not of raising tickets they will consider this so we actually a um, lot of students need your help so kindly help them and if of course if you have less than 50% of marks then do this procedure and uh, kindly help the students who want to do architecture this is a very small request at least you can do this much right so kindly do that i will provide the link in the description box below also guys the students who want to prepare for the third attempt examination our last batch uh, for 2023 is launching in one to two days so this is going to be our last batch for 2023 preparation and this is your last shot guys if you haven't prepared if you want to give one last single shot if your first attempt was also not good second attempt was also tough for you you did not know most of the questions so kindly don't fall in this trap you have to score good marks in nata to get into a good college and if you have potential it's better to do preparation and score good rather than wasting your potential right so start your preparation if you still haven't for third attempt and our demo classes are also uh, going to be held on i think 7th and 8th so the number is already given on the screen you can call us or message us on this number and you can attend our free demo classes and our batches are going to also start i think uh, in 2 3 days for la this last batch for 2023 and for third attempt examination so do consider enrolling if you still haven't started your preparation because ssac guys is the best shot you have got we work really hard and we can say that we have literally cracked the pattern of nata examination and even j examination and our results are also quite good questions come very very similar so our preparation is at a very good level i would say and thank you so much guys for watching this video hello everyone i am ishita gar i am a student of ssac institute i have scored 99.99 percentile in my j b r session 1 2023 i am yash asodekar and i have scored 99.66 percentile in my je bar examination my name is sandini singhal and i have been a student of ssac institute to tell you this is not any other ordinary setup there is a whole team working on it like the attention to individual is best here and you won't get this thing anywhere at this price so it is really worth it also some questions were very predictable and those teachers uh, gave me those questions which i made mistakes in test and the same question by luck was there in jpt examination quality of education provided in this institute is awesome everything about this institute the study material the mock test the to the point content is just awesome 
and I literally I would find the same questions which were there in the mock test as there as it is in the examination 